What's up, Libra? It's Zed from Zabby Sentient, and welcome to your March 2022 love reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Please make sure before we even get into the video that you drop a like. It really helps the channel grow. It puts some respect on my algorithm. Most importantly, it's free, and I appreciate it. All right. Um, if you all are looking for personal readings or the information that you need, it's going to be in the description box below. All right. You're going to book on SavvySentient.com, and that is the only place that you can book me. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, my spiritual safe place group, or following me on any other social media, all of that will be linked below as well. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, guess where that's at? It's, yeah, in the description box. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right. So, Spirit, what's the overall energy of this love reading for Libra? Overall energy of this love reading for Libra. Hmm. We have death in reverse, Libra. So it looks like there is a situation that should have ended, that should be dead and over with. <laughs> I'm hearing dead and gone, dead and gone, that song. Um, but for some reason, it's not. Something doesn't want to die. Something is coming back around like roaches. No matter how hard you try, you're just allowing it to come back into your life. Or this person is not um, just accepting the ending. Okay, so let's see what this is in reference to. Whoever you are thinking about as you hear this reading is who this reading is about. So let's get some lovers oracles, these heart-shaped oracles here, and see what other messages we can get. All right, this is your oracle, and it says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. All right, so there's a cycle here that is trying to change and resisting that that change is no good, okay? <laughs> it's not. Let's keep going. Libra, I hope this is not you that's resisting this. <sighs> okay, so this could be um, someone who you are engaged to or we're in a long-term commitment with. We do have the passion card here. So the chemistry between the two of you is really insane. You like each other equally and you have a good time when you're together. We have having fun. Um, we also have the photograph card. So this is looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. So someone's trying to come back around. And finally, we have the engagement ring card. This is about engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. All right, so let's see how the person that you are thinking about uh, is feeling about you and this connection, Libra. As I split the deck, I see the devil energy along with the passion card. I'm feeling like y'all sexy fun time was a sexy fun time. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Libra, let's see how you feel about this person. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Hold up. I'm going to let you know. Girl, boy, friend. Is it you? Is it you? Libra, you having a tough time letting it go? Libra. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Um, peace. Peace. Wish fulfillment. Contentment. Um, some of you all feel like this person is your wish fulfillment. Um, this person sees you as stable. I feel like this is someone who you may have had more than 
uh, one opportunity with, okay? This is someone who feels like you are their safety, like they can always come back to you. We have the Hierophant in the reverse though. So this person didn't want to do what was necessary along with the Ten of Cups in reverse to get that happily ever after. I feel like that could have been engagement. This person didn't want to take things to the next level. They were just okay with where things were. And we have the Two of Swords energy. They would not make a move. They were stuck. All right? So they saw you as loyal. They saw you as stability. But they didn't want to do what needed to be done to maintain that stability, which is put a ring on it. Okay? Or if you all were just talking, or if y'all have just been um, in a situationship, they didn't want to level up with you. They were against commitment for whatever reason. Um, for you, Libra, we have the Four of Cups energy. You are unhappy. You are discontent. And then we have the Fool energy. Now, typically, I read the Fool as in the beginning, a leap of faith and all that. But I feel like, Libra, you are just not happy with this Fool. <laughs> You are not happy with this fool, okay? Um, and we have the Six of Cups here as well. Reunion with the High Priestess. So I feel like, <laughs> Libra, I feel like some of y'all are secretly reunited with this person. You all are secretly reunited with each other. Um, and I can't remember during the lunch break today, whose energy this was, but I also got the same message where someone was secretly linking up with somebody that they were not supposed to be with. I feel like maybe it was like a Taurus maybe. Maybe you're dealing with the Taurus, but that's neither here nor there. This person has now become a sneaky link. Um, I feel like like I said, this is somebody that you've been back and forth with. Um, they look at you as their stability. And that's why you let them come back. Um, even though they're not giving you what, they, what, what you wanted. What's this Two of Swords about? What is this person stuck on? Like, why can't they? Why won't they level up with you? Clarify the Two of Swords. Three of Wands energy is showing up, waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for. Um, King of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who's kind of mean. And I feel like, oof, okay. I feel like part of the waiting for some of y'all has something to do with the justice system. Has to do with maybe like... Um, they won't level up with you because they're waiting for some type of legality to go through. Like maybe they are already married and they're waiting for a divorce to go through. That's why the Hierophant could be here in the reverse. Um, for some of them, they may have some type of record that they're waiting to get um, expunged or waiting for, I don't know, maybe there's a time limit before certain things can't be found on their record anymore I don't know but it seems like there's something legal that they're waiting on for some of y'all I just feel like it's a divorce or a separation or something to go through before they can deal with you and that's why it's a sneaky link clarify the hierophant reverse three of cups absolutely there, this is a third party situation. Some of you all are aware that this person is already married. This person is already betrothed. And so though they may want stability with you, they can't have shit with nobody until their legal situation gets resolved to their divorce gets resolved. Look at the bottom of the deck. Shut the fuck. If I'm a psychic, just say that. I'm a psychic, y'all. Bottom of the deck, justice. This speaks about the justice system, legal system. Y'all messing with somebody who already got somebody. The engagement ring is here. They may want to propose to you because 
But they can't because they're already married. Get the fuck out of here. And that's why there's Ten of Cups in reverse. Because they want to be with you. They said, I'd rather be with you. Ooh, Libra. But they can't. <laughs> but they can't, Libra. Because they have this situation. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling like this person is somebody from your childhood. And that's why you felt like it was okay to deal with them, even if you knew they were married, even if you knew them during their marriage, like even if you dealt with them during the marriage, you kind of felt like they were mine first. Come on, Libra, get out of here. But that was your, your energy. So you're not happy about this new beginning because you haven't got the new beginning. Clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's no breakthrough happening for you. So this is why you're not happy and you really want this new beginning. You're waiting for that breakthrough. Um, clarify this fool. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. I don't even need to clarify nothing else. I just need to just talk. Do I even need cards? Yeah, you want to take action towards the thing, the person that you love towards this union. Um, for some of you all, if you haven't dealt with this person before, and if this is not somebody that you know from your childhood, this is a past life connection, especially with the high priestess showing up right next to it. This is someone who is a soulmate um, from another life. And you all are reuniting here, but the situation is sticky. It's given a little bit of twin flame. Um, y'all are in separation because y'all are not in separation. But you are not able to be in union like you want to because of their situation. But with the Six of Cups here with the High Priestess, it does feel like this could be past life. Clarify. Five of Swords. Trying to win at any cost. Trying to get this together at any cost. Hermit energy, after some soul searching, you realizing that this person is a soulmate. You might have been really introspective lately, trying to see how to get what you want. And now you're coming out of this hermit mode. Ooh. Hermit in reverse. I'm feeling like because of the situation that is happening here, because you can't get what you want with this person, Libra, you feeling, you're feeling like you're forced into isolation. You may have even separated from this person um, because you were not seeing the progress that you wanted to see in their situation. You may not have taken them seriously when they were telling you, like, I am getting a divorce. I am working on it. When there was no progress, you were like, I have to step away. And this ace of swords in reverse could be that you blocked them. And you are unhappy about it because what you truly wanted was a new beginning. You wanted to start over with them. The mutual energy here is the Ten of Wands with the world. So I do think that there's definitely a separation. We have the Death card leading the reading. But with the Ten of Wands and the world energy here, this ending for you all is a burden on, on, both, on both of you. It, it's a burden. Like you all are sick to be, to be away from each other. I'm here so sick of love song. So tired of tears, face ass. Like y'all don't, y'all don't want this separation. But Libra, it feels like for you, you're like, I'd rather be alone than be an option. But this person is saying like, Shorty, you are not an option. You are the choice. But unfortunately, there was a choice that was before you that I kind of got to clean up first. Okay. So when I'm done cleaning this choice on up, I'm back at you. I'm right back at you. And I can give you what you need. Damn. Damn. All right, moving on. Let's get some moonology. Moonology messages for Libra. What we got. Moonology for Libra. Cute. All right, so the first card that comes out says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. 
Okay, this is a time for you to focus out. All right. What's the bigger picture here, Libra? This person is trying to tie up their loose ends so that they could be with you. And you're unhappy because it's not happening in the time that you would like it to happen in. The next card is the full moon in Scorpio. Time to release negativity. All right. Um, it seems like you're being a little bit pessimistic here, even though you have the fool on your side wanting a new beginning and optimism. Um, you're being a little bit pessimistic here. Um, I'm kind of getting that some of y'all, maybe this is not all y'all, but some of y'all are really being a brat about this. Like, you know, in your mind, in your heart, that this person is doing all they can, but because it's not working out as quickly as you would like, you are like taking your frustration out on them. Even though you see them trying. But fear not. A new start is coming. So you are going to get a new beginning with them. But let them tie up their loose ends first, Libra. Let them, let them. Can, they, can you let them work it out? Damn it. <laughs> let them work it out, Libra. Rebel, rebel, talk nice or don't. I don't care, but please tell Libra what they need to hear. Corporal Ward, he gracias. Tell Libra what they need to hear. You're going through some tough shit. It's the first card that comes out. It says, everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. All right? Just handle it. Just deal with it, okay? The next card says, figure shit out on your own, okay? Figure shit out on your own. This is not a situation that a lot of people need to be involved in is what I'm getting with that because people are judgmental as fuck. Like, you're dating a married man. You're dating a married woman. Oh, my God. All of these single people around here, and you had to go get the married one. Like, it's not their business. And again, if this is a past life connection, it is definitely not their business. Because we're talking about a life that they wasn't even around for. But I digress. But, um, yeah, so I feel like that's part of the reason why this uh, reunion might have been kept quiet for those of you all who are keeping it quiet. For those of you all who are, um, this may not be like a reunion in this life, but the connection period. The reason why you're keeping it quiet is because you are shielding it from, you're shielding it from criticism and judgment. Um, crazy, the daily energy today was about moving in silence. And I feel like that's kind of what you're needing to do. All right. Um, the last card, they decided to be nice to y'all. It just says you're the shit, Libra. So I kind of feel like that might be some type of, uh, confirmation for you. Like not that you don't know that you're the shit, but if you're feeling like insecure or feeling like maybe this person is not going, um, as hard as they should to get their situation resolved, because they don't really like you that much or because maybe you're not as pretty as the other girl or maybe you're not as sexy as the other dude. Like, it, like get out of your head, Libra. If you are trying to diminish your own um, attributes as a reason why this is not happening as fast as you would like, stop that dumb shit. Stop that dumb shit. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Advice for you, Libra? What is your advice for Libra, please? Hmm. Okay, we have the High Priestess in the reverse. I kind of feel like the secret is out. Let the secret out. Secrets being revealed. Oh, no. Libra, there's more to the story here. 
This person wants to be with you, but I feel like there's more to the story here. Either something they're not telling you, something they were afraid to tell you. But you're going to... Um, you're going to get here a secret. Something is going to be re revealed about this person. And Mother of Swords energy, High Priestess, with the Mother of Swords energy, um, is asking you to use your discernment and your best judgment. The Two of Swords energy, needing to make head over heart decisions, not acting from a place of emotion when you hear whatever this secret is. Um, typically, there's a young lady on the Two of Swords who has a blindfold over her eyes. Um, and it's kind of saying like you're, you're not making a decision because you may not have all the details. And I feel like that's what's going to happen in this situation. Um, I don't feel like it's going to end the possibility of y'all being together. But I do feel like um, when you hear this secret, you are not to overreact and you are not to act from a place of emotion and you are needing to be logical about the situation. Okay. So it may be something to the effect of, uh, stars at the bottom of the, of the deck. So wishes coming true, wish fulfillment. I feel like this relationship, this person is exactly what you wish for, what you wanted. Um, but there may be a secret in which you find that there is a child maybe, or maybe they're just finding out. It's not like they were hiding it from you, but they might've just only found out like a week before they tell you. Um, but like before they separated, uh, they got pregnant or the person that they're dealing with, they got them pregnant. So there's a pregnancy here. And though they don't want to be with this person that they're getting a divorce from, um, they kind of want to be there for the child. And you're needing to use your discernment and, and, and make a logical decision here because there's nothing like, it's not the, that they cheated on you or whatever the case is to make this happen. This is just a situation where it is what it is. So how do you move forward? So that, that may not necessarily be the story, but I feel like there is a, a looming secret that just is what it is. And it's nobody's fault. But when you find out Libra, it's going to be something that you're not happy about. And you're being asked to be temperate. Okay? Be logical. Don't react from a place of emotion. But there's a secret that's coming out. And if this person is your wish fulfillment, if this person is your Ten of Cups, how are you going to handle this? How are you going to handle this, Libra? So, your advice, use your logic. Don't act from a place of emotion when the secret comes out. And I mean, really just weigh your pros and cons. If you want this, if you feel like it's worth it, what are the pros and what are the cons? If this is a connection, I mean, it seems like past life connection or a soulmate connection. If it means that much to you, what are you willing to sacrifice for it is, is the question here. Okay. So, this is your reading. If this resonates for you, let me know how in the comments below, Libra. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And this is the very next time that I read for you. I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.